Hello friends, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and welcome back to season two of the Summer Vacation Sewing Series. everyone again thank you so much for stopping by the channel again my name is Talisha and I also go by creativity by T and for today's video I am super super excited to announce what I made for episode 3 of the summer vacation sewing series if you don't know anything about this series this series called the summer vacation sewing series is a series that I have on my channel as well as Cherie of Cherie Thomas because we are doing this in collaboration with each other but this is a series where where we showcase four different items in total each that we find essential to take on vacation, specifically a resort vacation. So that's our theme for this year. Each week on Sundays, with last Sunday being the second uh, showing and the Sunday prior being the first showing, and uh, we will be showcasing these different makes, and we're going to do that through the end of August, which is next week. So next week we will have our last viewing so again we will make and showcase two different summer vacation garments that are classy yet comfortable stylish pieces that will be perfect for your future summer vacation and we will also provide a detailed pattern review so if you need some inspiration for your next summer sewing projects for vacation or if you simply just want to follow along to see what we will wear and what we're making please watch both of our channels each Sunday as I promise you will be inspired and I will link to Cherie's channel in the description box below as well as a playlist that will have both of our videos on there all right so so far in this series Cherie and I have made summer dresses and we've also made a beach jumpsuit and today we are excited to share two different types of makes that are typically worn on beaches or on a resort but they both go hand in hand so you could actually pair them together so it's very essential that you check out Cherie's video so that you can see how these two different garments come together. So for today, I made a resort faux wrap pencil skirt that resembles a sarong style of skirt. And I made this skirt by using Nomi 2015. And this was designed by Aronica B. Cole. And I absolutely absolutely love it I actually love it more than I thought I would okay so you got to hear all about this but before I tell you all about the skirt and details let me tell you a little bit and give you a little bit of information about what a sarong skirt is and a sarong skirt is a skirt that has a long tubular length of fabric often wrapped around the waist many modern sarongs have printed designs often depicting animals or plants different types of sarongs are worn in different places in the world and the purpose of a sarong is for every imaginable purpose under the sun depending on the style it can be used as clothing or blanket a towel a swim cover-up and much more so I decided to use this pattern which is again know me 2015 because it's super stylish and cute and when I first laid my eyes on it I immediately had the thought that I was gonna make this for a vacation or a fancy dinner or something like that and I definitely wanted this in my wardrobe because of those features and because of how airy it is you know it just seemed to be the perfect fit for that type of occasion you know the beach dinner or you know just anything but keep in mind that depending on the type of fabric that you use for this pattern that will determine how much use you can get of it and I'm referring to more of like the the uh, sarong style because like if you use a terry cloth you could use it even like a towel when you're putting it on things like that but it's definitely perfect for a resort and to wear around with the bathing suit underneath and I will definitely put some pictures and photos in that depict that what I wore underneath mine was a tank top and you know that could resemble like a one-piece bathing suit so let's go ahead and get into the details of this pattern uh, again probably for the third or fourth time this is Nomi 2015 and the pattern description is women's line bustier with C D double D cup sizes 
and a skirt. We'll get back to the bustier later. There are three views to this pattern and two views are for the bustier and the remaining view is for the skirt which is the view that I made. Fabric recommendations are going to be your cotton blends, crepe, lightweight denim, linen blends, sateen, and stretch wovens. And the bustier had like additional different fabrics that you can use to make it. The fabric that I use is a crepe that I purchased from Joann's. I believe it was about two years ago. Absolutely love it. Perfect, perfect, perfect drape for this pattern. I mean, it's, I love it. So the skill level is rated as average and I do agree because of the installation of the invisible zipper. So for the pattern pieces, I use four pattern pieces to make this skirt. I use the skirt left front and the skirt right front and you only cut out one of each of those and then the back uh, pattern piece you cut on the fold so you're cutting one of those and then you also cut out a waistband and you cut out one of those so you don't need a whole lot of fabric but it is long um, as far as your notions you are going to need thread and a nine inch invisible zipper and one hook and eye I did not use my hook and eye because I don't like sewing them on. So there is just a tad bit of opening at the top of my skirt based on the fact of how it was set up to be installed, but I don't feel like it looks bad because I plan to probably only wear this with either black, maybe a red top or anything like that, but you know, I don't think it looks bad. And if I do feel like it looks bad, then I'll go ahead and put it on. So the pattern sizing comes in size 16W, so that stands for women, 16 women through 26 women. And the size that I cut was a size 24 at the waist, and then I graded down to a 22 in the hips to match the measurements more accurately. And a huge, huge shout out to Veronica for having the finished waist measurements on the waistband pattern piece. I mean, like, that was gold. That was just gold, and I wish all pattern pieces had the finish waist measurements on there but they not not all of them do um for me that just saves a lot of trouble and you know i will tell you that the finish hip measurements were also on the pattern piece so this pattern was easy to just cut out and whip up because i don't have to do a bunch of measuring or you know just pulling it around my body things like that so shout out to her does my finished garment look like the photo on the pattern envelope absolutely yes it does the instructions were super duper easy to follow no hiccups whatsoever i didn't have to scratch my head not one time and the illustrations were just spot on there is a sew along for this pattern as well i did not watch it because i sewed this up late friday night so by the time you're watching it two nights ago and I just don't like sound at night like I just I just want peace and quiet minus like the sewing machine and so I didn't want to turn on the TV or the phone or tablet or whatever to watch it so I just followed along the instructions but I'm sure that they're fine if the instructions are just you know perfect and the things that I liked about this pattern I love the style of it of course it is super classy and sophisticated I just like the the full wrapness I love the sarong type look of it I just think it's again classy and perfect for a resort and everyday type of wear as well you know I definitely feel like I'm gonna be wearing this out on a date night because you know the little opening in the front gives it a little sexiness too and there was nothing that I disliked about the pattern um, for the most part but I will say I did not like the zipper installation it, it was just so um, uh, rookie like maybe I should say I just prefer a different method for install installing my invisible zippers with a waistband but it does not take away from how this looks it looks good it just looks more professional and clean when you're enclosing the zipper inside of the waistband and that's you know if you care about what your garments look like on the inside now mine still looks okay it, you know and it does the trick or whatever but like I said I just prefer that and when you enclose the zipper within the waistband you don't have that gaping where you would need a hook and eye 
Now I could have just gone off and done it myself and not have followed the instructions, but sometimes there's reasons why the instructions are the way they are. And I didn't know if that was going to be the case for this particular pattern. So I left it alone. But next time that I make that, because there, there will be a next time, I will just do it the way that I prefer, but it does not minimize any of the greatness of this pattern. And to be honest, I mean, it's a bit easier. I just, you know, for, for the cosmetic purposes, you know, I prefer the other way. Um, but I did not learn any new techniques. I didn't have any first time experiences and I didn't make any alterations or modifications. I left the construction of this pattern the way that the pattern designed it to be. And I would definitely recommend this to others. Absolutely, yes. It's easy, super easy, especially if you know how to install zippers. Super easy. And if you make this with a knit, you may not even need to install the zipper because when I was trying this on to make sure that the fit was okay, I basted the side, the left side where the zipper goes completely and I just slipped it on. That fit would have worked out perfectly, but I wanted my skirt to be a little bit tighter on my high waist because I didn't want it to sit on my natural waist. So I had to make some adjustments for that. But you know, had it not been for that, you can actually make this in a knit and probably not even have to install the zipper. So yes, absolutely absolutely recommend this and I do like I said plan to make it again and with the bustier pattern that comes along with it I definitely want to make that pattern um, I wish that I had time to make it for this particular look to match my skirt which was the original plan but I had a lot of stuff going on with the passing of my grandmother and I shut down didn't get things done and you know there's some things and techniques within that construction like using the boning that I have not used before and I didn't want to push it but you will be seeing it in the near future. This pattern came out in 2023 so this year and this is available to purchase on the Simplicity website or you can pick it up at your local Joann's and or Hobby Lobby so make sure you pick this up because this is super awesome. I paired this uh, skirt in the tank that I'm wearing with my leopard earrings, my black beads, and I have some black sandals that I wore that, you know, just kind of made it all together. Like I said, I used, uh, wore the tank top because a lot of times in the summertime when I wear skirts, that is what I wear in the tank kind of resembles like a one piece swimsuit that you would wear underneath. And I did style this with my straw hat as well so yeah you know my little sun hat so now i'll go ahead and enter a few more pictures and twirls of me in my new fancy dancy classy and sophisticated beach skirt really love this please let me know what your thoughts are about this pattern and my skirt in the comment section below you know I love to hear your thoughts I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to end this video but if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a like and hit the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos please make sure that you go over to Cherie's channel to check out her pairing to my skirt because it's is not the same type of garment as I mentioned before and I know you will love it she did an amazing job thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and I will see you in the next video bye